how to go from this to that. So first we will need 5 by 8 inches cellophane sheets. Of course you can change these measurements accordingly to the best of your comfort. To roll my cones I start by folding 3 quarters of the length of the sheet. Then I use my finger to hold it in place while rolling inwards with my right hand. Then I use my left thumb to tighten and hold the cone while keep rolling with my right hand. Cone will become smaller and smaller the more you roll it. Also I use my right thumb to measure the size of the cone that I want to make. And then I go ahead and insert the glass pen in the opening, like halfway through it. Then I use my right thumb to pull and tighten the cone sheet to the pin. Make sure it's secure and tight so the pin doesn't fall off. If you're unsure of the size you want to make, just use your thumb to measure, at least that's what I used to do. And this way I know my cones will hold between 18 to 25 grams. If you need a larger cone, just don't roll it so tight on your thumb. Then put a piece of tape on the corner of your sheet and just finish rolling the rest of it. Use your left hand to hold the cone in place and guide the tape for a smooth closure. Then we also need to close all the openings around the cone to make sure nothing is going to escape through there and make a mess on your hands while you're working with it. Also, I figured if you squeeze the cone a little bit while applying the tape around it, the tip itself will adhere to the cone much easier and without any air gaps. Also make sure you seal the cone all the way to the top. And don't forget this diagonal line here as well, because if your finger can get in, it means whatever's inside can also come out through that opening. And there's also this horizontal line here as well. Always make sure you leave no air gaps left behind. And last but not least, I seal the opening near the pin head. I use the corner of a piece of tape to roll it over the cone. In order for me to get the best results with my cone, there is no such thing as too much tape on it. I like to make sure there's no escape possible of whatever's inside that can possibly end on my hands while I'm working, since I hate wearing gloves. And here you have it. These cones are about 7 to 8 inches in length and they hold between 18 to 25 grams. You can fill them with henna paste, chagua gel, acrylic paints and so much more. Thank you all so much for watching.